How's everybody? How's it? How you doing? Rick not here today? Uh, what? He's just going to spill us that he got to him, I think. <laughs> Byron, in the last five games, you guys have been outscored 34 to 18. What's happening after halftime? Is that you guys come out and it's actually been 21 nothing in the last two games to not get the offense going after the halftime adjustments or whatever happens at halftime? What's happening that day? I don't know, something we're thinking about, something we're working on, really. If it was something that we can put our finger on, we would try to fix it. So we're just trying to get better, really, from us. We're trying to get the ball and do a better job of really scoring, really, whenever we get it. Uh, obviously, we haven't been as good as we've been a- after the half. I don't think we've been as good as we've been either quarter, right, to be honest with you. I just think we got to get better. I like the way we're working. That's all we can do is try to continue getting better, try to find a way to get wins. We, we heard all summer long talking about – um, the, the big four, the wide receivers, right? And maybe we see more four wide receiver sets. But, you know, I think we've seen just maybe a handful of, like, 10 personnel this season. Just the challenges that you faced as a play caller when you don't have your full arsenal of guys. That's just health. You know, we're trying to get healthy each day, each week. Um, from a personnel standpoint, I don't think that stopped us really from doing anything. That don't really get in the way of us. But we would like to get all our guys healthy so we can practice and I think that'll help us play better. Well, Byron, when Tom came in here two years ago, or three years ago, um, the Glazers on down said that he changed the culture in this building. You know, guys were saying that they were in awe of him. They were willing to run through the wall for him. <laughs> Just, is he still elevating guys at the level he was when he first came in here, or is some of that worn off, do you think? Nah, Tom is Tom. You know, I mean, it's special that, to be a skilled guy, to be an offensive <laughs> lineman, to have the opportunity to really play with him, right? When it's all said and done, they're going to call him probably the best ever. And I think all those guys really appreciate having that opportunity to play with him, to compete with him, to go in these different situations that they're in with him. So I think it's the same. I think it's the same since he's been here. I just this, These are the questions that happen when you lose, right? When you lose, everything's in the question. We're, we're just going to keep grinding, keep pushing, see if we can find a way to win football games. Because of those injuries, though, is there some hesitation on his part? And are there plays there to be made that he's just not getting the ball out like he normally does one of the quickest than the other? No, I, I just think we all need to be better. It, we all need to be better playing, coaching it better. We can all be better. Byron, the best part of a, a Thursday night game is you get the break, and then I guess the flip side of that is if it's not the result you want, it's like time to think about it. It makes so, it longer. <laughs> yeah. Um, just describe what this like last stretch has been going into this game now Sunday from that Thursday night game, just mentally, emotionally trying to, to get things on track. Well, you come right back in the next day and you go to work, right? You go to work on the next opponent, and it just makes the week feel like it's been forever since we played a football game, to be honest with you, when you're over here every day putting as much time as we do into it. So we're just excited to have another opportunity to play this game Sunday. We got a good opponent coming in here. We got to find a way to win football games. I love with this group. If I can do this with anybody, I want to do it with this group, good times and bad times. So. We're in a little runt right now. We're going to try to get ourselves out of it. Byron, along the lines of what she just asked, the players had a long weekend to try to get a little healthier. Y'all did some self-scouting, some reflecting. Does this look like kind of a prime opportunity to reboot, reset this season? You know what I'm saying? We're just trying to find a way to get a win. We just need one of them. Before you can get two and three of them, you got to get one. So we're not in position to be thinking that far down the line. We got to focus on Sunday. We're focusing on Sunday, trying to play our best football, try to find a way to win. Byron, you had the opportunity to play Nick Leverett for the entire game with Luke Gettekey's injury. How did you feel? You performed? It I, certainly seemed like he elevated the play at left guard. Nick played you? well. Nick played well. He's a, he's a guy who's been around, who's really been just waiting on his opportunities. We've stuck him in before in the past. He played well for us sparingly when we had to play, but I believe that's who Nick is. That's who Nick is. You can trust Nick. You see his energy that he comes with every day. It don't just show in the game. It shows itself in practice. So I think Nick played well. Is he going to be your starter at left guard going forward? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. You, you're among those that, that spend the most time with, with Tom. Obviously, the news coming out this past week about uh, his family. Just what have you seen from him from a personal standpoint over the last few weeks with all the things he's been dealing with? I'm not getting into nothing personal. That's, that's a question for Tom. Byron, you know, you guys had this weekend to kind of go back, self-scout, and, and Coach Bowles said that you guys would go and back to the drawing board pretty much, what works, what doesn't work. Do you expect, Should we expect to see a different type of offensive game plan this week, or is it just 
down to executing. Meaning what? Like just a different type of, maybe things that you didn't try in the past or, or worked in the past more of, less of things that didn't work, and kind of just a different look from what we've seen so far in these first eight games. Well, who's in the huddle always determine what we're calling, really. So who we're capable of or have in the huddle, that always, always determines what we're calling because we're trying to put these guys in the best position to have success. So it's always about who's in the huddle. It's about our mindset and how we're going to try to attack and approach people. Byron, I know the attitude it has to be. We're all in this together. Nobody points fingers. But, Byron, speaking for your coaches and, and, and your players on the offensive side of the ball, is there any kind of sense like, guys, we're not pulling our weight. The defense is wearing down in the second half because we're off the field too quickly. Uh, and any sense that uh, we, we got to pick it up, you know, for help the defense a little bit? We, we feel as though we got to pick it up to help the team, not really to help to help special teams, to help defense. Uh, we, we, the, our approach have always been score points. That's my biggest philosophy. Find a way to score points. One thing that's 100%. You score more points than the other team, regardless of what happened, you wins the football game. So that's been my approach since I got here in 19. We just got to do a better job of scoring points. You go throughout the game, you have games where you're not good enough on third down, not good enough on red zone all the situations of footballs, but you find ways to win because you score points. So we got to find a way to score more points to win football games, especially the way the game is played now. You got to score points to win football games. Is finding a way to uh, sustain drives almost as important as the points right now, though? Well, that's why you're not scoring. If you can't sustain drives, you can't score. Uh, you need to be able to sustain drives to be able to have rushing attempts, to be able to have. But if you have, you look, look at the game last week, we had a three and out come right back, a four and out, those opportunities that we wasted to have plays within the drive. We didn't do a good a job a couple of those drives that put us kind of behind the eight ball, didn't allow us to get to the things that we wanted to get to. Byron, as far as the passing game goes, there's a lot of Mike and Chris, and understandably so, they're two of the best receivers in the game. Uh, but do you feel like you're getting enough out of either the third wide receiver option or just a third passing option in general? Because Russell struggled a little bit and then got injured. Julio's been injured a lot. Did you need more production there? I just think it's health. I think we'll get production from our guys as we go, and the more we're able to spend more time together, practice together, because we're talking about guys that ain't been here for two, three years, right? So I think the more time we get together, I think you'll see better you'll see better play from guys around other than Mike and Chris. Our teams uh, rely on analytics quite a bit uh, you know, over the last few years. Uh, Tom's been lethal when it comes to play action pass. I think he's fourth in the league. His quarterback rating is fourth in the league. But you guys don't have a lot of play action pass in, in your game right now. Is that something that has to change for this to be successful? Well, we got to do a better job of running it, right? Uh, there's no such thing as play action pass without running it good enough so it to be true. So we just got to play better across the board. We can run it better. I can call it better. It's a lot of different things we can do better to help the whole part of our game, really. That's really how we look at it. We don't look at it as one thing. Actions come off how well you're running the ball, has always been. Or you're just wasting time doing an action. It won't do the job that you're you know, setting out for it to do. So we just need to play better across the board. It's not that dynamic, despair. Byron. You, you want to run the ball more, uh, but you're not being rewarded in the running games when, when you do run it. So that's a tough dynamic to, to, you know, when you guys talk about it with your other coaches, Byron, you know, that's a, that's a tough situation. To me, me personally, if you want to know how I really view it, I never count runs. I can never count runs. I think you got to do it. You got to score points. And however you get to runs, I see certain passes as runs. I see everything as a way to get rushing, uh, rushing yachted. So, I don't really count runs and pass. I don't think you need to run it this certain amount to win or pass it this certain amount to win. We're always trying to do whatever we need to do or feel as though we need to do to win that football game that day. There's a pretty big disparity between Leonard Fournette and, and Rashad White with their snaps the last game. Is there an onus to get Rashad White more touches with his speed, vision, elusiveness? No, I just think Rashad and his series was we didn't execute well enough to keep the drive and the series going, so he had lesser plays. What about do you Tyler think, Johnson? Do you think that uh, Tom trusts his protection? We've seen him on the move more than normal, and, and sometimes it looks like the pocket is actually pretty good. Is he you know, kind of a little sketchy in there at times? Uh, I think football is football. I think sometimes, I know, to answer that question, no, I don't feel it's that way, but I think 
it's hard to not know which actual play you're talking about. But I just think football is football. I think Tom is fine. I think Tom is fine. I think we could play better around him. I think I can coach it better. I think he can play it better. So that's that's really our focus. Uh, the great thing about this group, we've been around each other. So we had a lot of success. So the the first, the last thing we do is point fingers. We all look at each other, say, hey, what we got to do to get it better. I trust in this group getting that done. So that being said, that this is the group that you trust. They've had the success. What do you think it would take to get back in sync? Would it be scoring early? Is there one kind of thing? If you believe in them, what do you think it'll take? I don't think it's one thing. I think it's football. It's 11 people out there at one time. It's a lot going on. So it's not as simple as you guys make it or as simple as we made it look in the past. Uh, it's tough to do what we've done here for the last three years. I mean, it's, it's not an easy thing. If it was, everyone would have been doing it, right? It's tough to do it. And we're just in the spot where we got different people here and there, different things going on here and there. But I trust in this group that we'll get it fixed ultimately. And hopefully we can start Sunday with that. All right, we brought Tyler Johnson back uh, to this team. Well, can you just speak of what he brings and how you plan on maybe utilizing him going forward? He's a guy that's been in tough times with us. He's been in the good times, the bad times with us. Uh, he's a guy that Tom knows well. We all know well. So, And the most important part, he's been in the huddle in championship games. He's been in the huddle in playoff games. So he knows what it takes. So it's, it's good to have him back. Okay. All right, guys. Have a good one.